So it's not something you can relax with, but it becomes second nature after you do it for a while to be able to pick up the ear to hear it. When you have a conversation with somebody and all of a sudden something will click, oh, I gotta go to the engine. That's it. You know, so. Is this a good time to explain what the four blue valves are for? Four blue valves. Blue valve on top is the blower valve. There's a nozzle in the smoke box, which is the front of the boiler, directed under the stack. As I turn this up, it creates a draft, pulls flame and heat from the firebox through the tubes and out the stack. It helps build pressure in the boiler. This valve here is my oil blowback. If something should clog my oil line, my feed line from the tender to the locomotive, I can turn on my blowback, blow it back out into the tender, and my fire will come back on me. I won't have any, the blockage will be stopped, I'll be able, we'll be able to run the locomotive. This is a line heater. This heats the oil on cold mornings so it flows better. All it is is just a steam valve, goes down to a cylinder that encases the fuel line. Steam passes through the cylinder, heats the oil line, heats the oil. Do you need to use that in the summertime at all? Or? No, 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 no. We, this engine was a, originally built to burn what they called Bunker C, which is a really thick, heavy, tar-like oil when it's cold, just a step above dinosaur. It's got to be heated to flow into the tank. It's got to be heated to go from the tank to, to the oil valve to the firebox. We don't use that anymore. It's very expensive. Got its good stuff, though, and it smells really nice. But we burn waste oil, crankcase oil, right out of the right out of the crankcase. Huh. It's thin enough to where we really don't need a need a heater, except for in cold weather. And what's that last valve down there? That's the atomizer. Okay. That's one of the most used valves on a steam locomotive. This is my oil valve. Oil valve. As the locomotive runs, depending on throttle settings, more oil, a little more atomizer. Less oil, a little less atomizer. The atomizer. And the oil valve, like I said, work together. Without the atomizer, that oil is coming off the burner. His mouth is about that wide. It's just coming off in a stream, just a solid stream of oil. The atomizer does exactly what it says. It turns the flow into a spray. It throws, it sprays the oil out in the firebox where it ignites, heats the water. Okay, cut film. Go out to the air pump. Fill the three reservoirs with oil. The first will be air pump oil. It's a carbonless oil. Filling up the uh, three reservoirs on the uh, air pump. First two reservoirs get uh, air pump oil. It's a carbonless oil. The duties are just uh, get the engine ready in the morning for the engineer and fireman. As you've already seen, grease and the wet oils. I have to go away for a moment. This belongs in the engine house, not on the engine. I mean by wet oiling, I mean driving boxes. I mean basically it gets moved, gets wet oiled down here. The engineer and fireman do it through the day, but it's the hostess job to take care of it in the morning, make sure the oil cans, oil levels in the oil cans are full for the crew to use throughout the day. I edit that part out. Just stop that. Because I got something else in store for that. Engineer's pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. Fireman, though, he's a real jerk. That's all I got to say about that. Back up to the air pump. Oh. Blower sounds a little heavy. Fill up the, uh, Air lub uh, the air pump lubricator, steam cylinder oil, 
very important to use the right lubricants in the right places. Steam cylinder oil, it's a very heavy oil. And uh, it's made not to break down or be washed out by the steam. It'll stay to the stay on the wear surfaces and not be washed off. That's the uh, mechanical lubricator for the air pump. I got basically the same thing on the cylinders, only it's a little bigger. They're the same thing, mechanically pumps oil into the cylinders of the locomotive as the, oil, as the locomotive runs. That one pumps uh, oil into the air pump. As the air pump runs, only when the air pump runs. You'll probably see or hear it later on today. And this is the mechanical lubricator for the cylinders. These lines, these lines here feed oil down to the cylinders as the locomotive runs. Very thick oil. You've got a lot to pour. It's going to take you a while if it's cold. I usually try to keep this full in the cab overnight so it's nice and thin so it takes less time to fill. Didn't do that today. That's all right. Probably that damn fireman. He is a jerk. Likes to mess with me every chance he gets. I'd like to buy him a beer that my dog peed in. Oh, can I say that? Oh, okay. You didn't hear me say I'd like to buy the fireman a beer that my dog peed in? Oh, okay. I said I'd like to buy the fireman a beer that my dog peed in. Can I say that? Okay. He's a real jerk. All right. Reservoir's just about to the top. Stand there. Let it settle. Air bubbles work out of it. I'm just glad the fireman, I'm, I'm gone by the time the fireman shows up. I don't have to look at him. Ah, oh, he's a jerk. Do this to uh, get a little oil into the cylinders right from the get-go. She'd been sitting overnight hot, and even though this oil does adhere to the cylinders, it does seem to leak down over a period of time at night. Well, you give her quite a few pumps to kind of primer in the morning. Just uh, run around and give everything a little shot of machine oil. Again, the engineer will do this throughout the day, but it's uh, one of the duties of the hostler take care of this in the morning so the locomotive has a film of grease on it and oil before she runs out start her day this is just a oil reservoir oil drains into the guide as the locomotive runs through the day this is another item that gets Daily attention from the engineer. Again, one of the duties of the hoster, make sure these are full for his engine crew. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna start the air pump, Jim. They didn't open up one of the drains. That drain's open. Ah, there she goes. She's sitting.
Carson City train. The same old train that brought me here, gonna carry me home again. Darling.